Gen Z. Gen Z. Hello and welcome to the Truth Booth. We're gonna do something a little bit different today, just for fun. So excited to have my two granddaughters with me in Ecuador. And we've been doing a lot of talking and comparing notes. And one thing we've been talking about a lot, this generational, I don't want us to just say gap, but <laughs> this generational cavern yep, there you go. a lot of times between perhaps my age or even younger and this age right here. And this age is called Gen Z. <laughs> so um, no. something that we found a little bit entertaining between ourselves that we thought we would share with you is for them to tell me some of their little, what would you call lingo. it? Lingo. Lingo. Well, lingo. Know. And see what a uh, gray haired Nana knows or thinks that it might mean. So we're just yeah. going to take some of those words. And this would be a great like uh, thing for you to do with somebody younger yeah. too, just because it's very entertaining. Or um, okay, go ahead. Okay, um, lit, lit, yeah, lit. I would think maybe that would mean like she's all lit up. No. <laughs> okay, lit is like really, really fun, or cool. cool. Um, like that party was so lit. Why don't you just say cool? It means like a good time because it's. More fun to say lit? Okay, yeah. that one, okay, I will admit not as many people say that anymore, yeah, but that, that's, that's more like two years ago. Okay. That was a big thing. Oh, so it's but, really old. Okay. Well, so I'm just thinking, it's still from my generation. Throw me another one. Okay. Dope. Okay. Dope. Favorite. Well, do you know what dope meant in my generation? Yeah. <laughs> what did it mean? It was drug. Okay, right. Dope was <laughs> drugs. Um, so dope today maybe means bad? Cool. No. Oh, <laughs> it, it's like it's like basically the same thing. My turn, my turn. Except yeah, okay. it's, it's like it's gonna be dope, or um, he's so he's so dope. Okay. Uh, wait. I'm trying to think. What? Just no, no, no. Uh, T. T. Yeah. Like spell it. T E A. So it's not the drinking tea, like no, tea. no. <laughs> okay. Um. T. Um. Um. Hot? No. <laughs> no. No. It means like if there's gossip or drama, drama like um, spill the tea. Yeah. Like I want to hear the tea. Yeah. And then there's tea channels on YouTube. So it's <laughs> like, okay. Where does that come from? Well, okay. Because I, mean, I think originally it was people would say sips tea. So like, you know, when like someone, help, okay, this is really cringy, but you know, like yeah. online when people would like do things in asterisks yes. that would like show that they're like doing something. Mm -hmm. So people used to say sips tea, like, ooh, yeah. like, like, okay. you know, and so now people just say tea ooh. or okay. spill the tea. Okay. Yeah. This one is another one. Uh, what's, what do you think this ain't it chief means? This ain't it chief? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This ain't it chief. Like the ain't it chief. Like yeah, this ain't, uh, this this ain't, ain't it, it chief. chief. Like you're wrong. You're totally um, wrong. <laughs> it's more like if something's okay well this is how i've heard it used just like when people say it's like something's awkward or something is like not mm -hmm. good oh, the same <laughs> they're like the, the same, same it, it chief okay. and um i don't know like the origin of yeah, it no. specifically okay. it's just kind of like a way to lighten the mood when something's yeah. okay mm. hit me again okay. thick thick yeah thick with two c's Thick with two C's. Thick with two C's. Oh, do we are? Okay, I one? have heard you use it. Yes. <laughs> and I think it means like, like body image bigger. Uh, Getting bigger? Or it's like, sort of. Well, yeah, I mean, it's yeah, yeah like but that. like, it's like, okay, specifically, it's like, <laughs> like curvy in the right places, sort of. Yeah. And wow. so, like, um, so it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so, it also is like guys and girls. Mm. And it's more <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> so like now it's more popular to be thick than to be thin. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. Another one. Um, shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Yeah. yeah. Like give it a chance. Kind of. Yeah. Oh actually. yeah. That was actually okay. so good. <laughs> um, but specifically, it's like with a guy or a girl that you like. So like, uh, just kind of shoot your shot. Like tell them that you like them. Yeah. Oh, I see. Good. Okay. Think. Uh, Bop or like banger means. Okay, well, one of those didn't mean something very nice in our day. <laughs> so I hope it's different than that. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. bop or banger. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, like, um, great. 
it means, yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's it that's means fun. like a it means like a really good um song. Mm -hmm. Like, like oh, it has, um, like has to be like a song. "Come On Eileen" is like, like that's a bop. bop. That's a banger. That's a bop. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and then what do you think? What do you think "drip" means? Drip. Yeah. That's another word that we use too. Really? But yeah. Back then, "drip" would mean like like loser. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Like. If he's a real drip. Oh. I mean, like, he's mm -hmm. a real loser. Uh, it, today kind of means, like, a really hot outfit or something. <laughs> like, that's a drip. Where does that come from? I don't oh, know. What does drip have to do with what you're wearing? Drip too hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Lisa made sense in our generation. <laughs> drip, like a drippy faucet. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah dude. Um, okay. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. Mm -hmm. so tell me how you, tell me the tone you would say it in. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> Like, weird spin on that, but it's okay. <laughs> you explain it. Okay, so weird flex, but okay is kind of like, if someone, if someone does something like really random and really weird, but it's actually like kind of cool. Awesome. What do you think L means? L? Like the letter L? Yeah. Just L? L. It used to be like, loser. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of like, it's, well, okay. It's like, take the L, like... Like just admit you've lost. You're not. Yeah, you're like not that. gonna win this. Like that. Oh, that's that's a little. Or like, bit. or like, that's oh, different. you. That was like a loss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, L. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. What do you think that aesthetic means? Um, I've heard you guys using that, and I'm like, hmm, okay, because aesthetic mm -hmm. means the way things look or the way things yeah. line up or whatever. Yeah. And I've heard you guys say like, oh, that's so aesthetic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. um, so it must have something to do with the way it looks, something mm -hmm. looks. That's usually, I think that aesthetic is talking more about retro things. Yeah, or uh, vintage looking things. Yeah, like um, that. Just like something that looks really nice the way it's all put together. I've heard, I've heard people use it to describe music too. Oh so yeah. It's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it looks really nice or it has like a certain kind of feel to it. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, okay. And then when you use it as a noun, it's like my aesthetic. So it's kind of like my look my vibe style, style. Like, okay. yeah what about mood what do you think that means mood yeah or like how would you use it mood <laughs> mood <laughs> mood um like that's a mood or yeah. mood um mood. that person's moody nope <laughs> no it's like if you say something that i find really relatable so if you were saying something like Ugh, I'm so tired, or, or something, uh, or just, I'm so stupid, or yeah, I'd say <laughs> like would say like I would say part. mood, like okay. I am too, yeah. and that's kind of oh, like I'm in the same mood. Is that kind of what you're saying? <laughs> 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 sort of. Okay. I mean, I'm just trying sure. to figure out how to remember. Sure, yeah, sure, okay. sure. I uh, mean, I'll never remember any of these. That's a mood. Like okay. that's something I feel. Like okay. I feel yeah. that. So thanks so much, and we hope you got a laugh out of that. Mm -hmm. we, we sure did. Yeah. But our, our goal and our motive is, and we're going to do a few videos on this, is that you reach out and try to cross the generations. Conversations like this are fun. And I just want to say here that a lot of people my age are like, well, you can't talk to the young people because they just have their phones in their hands all the time, and they're not going to want to talk to you. But I want to say that I have just as much trouble with people my age not being able to put their phone down as the younger kids not being able to put their phone down. So just engage, engage, and think of fun things to talk about. Yeah. It, is, it is fun, and it's worth it. Yep. See you next time.